Up until now, all our programs have done the same thing when run. You run them once, it does one thing, you run it again, it does the exact same thing again. Most interesting programs, though, depend on some interaction with the computer user. So when you're using a web browser and click on a link, you're interacting with a program and telling it what to do. Scratch makes it easy to interact with a user. It can handle things called events. Events are things like pressing a key, clicking a mouse, and so on. We've already used one event. When you click the green flag, that's considered an event, and any code attached to the green flag event block starts to run. We can start to run code based on other events, like pressing a key or clicking on a sprite, and so on. Let's make a simple drawing program as an example of handling events and working with a user. First, I'm going to add a new sprite and look under Things. And I just want something that you use as uh, kind of the drawing shape uh, so people know where you are on the screen. This button looks like a nice little shape that could be used like a pen kind of thing. So I'm going to click on that, hit OK. Now, while we all love the Scratch Cat, we don't need it for this particular example, so I'm going to click with my right mouse button, gives a little menu, and delete the cat. It only deletes it from this project, so we'll, we will be able to use it for other projects later. Now this pen is kind of large, and up here there's some things we haven't looked at so far. There's You can delete sprites, you can duplicate them, you can make them bigger or smaller. I'm going to make them smaller. So I click on the shrink button and it changes my cursor. And now when I click on the sprite, it kind of gets smaller and smaller. So I'll make it a little bit smaller so we can see what we're drawing while we're drawing. For this drawing program, we want the green pen sprite to follow my cursor around. And then I want to be able to set the pen up and, de and down based on some key presses. So let's see what we can do here. First of all, when the green flag is clicked, I always want the position of the sprite to match up with my cursor. It's pretty easy to do that in Scratch. Let me show you how you could do it. Under Control, I'm going to say Repeat Forever. It's like a repeat block, except it never stops. If you really want it to stop, we can hit the stop sign symbol up here and that stops all the scripts. Now under motion there's a block that says go to mouse pointer so when I move my mouse it moves a mouse pointer around and if I put that inside the forever loop it basically means when the green flag is clicked see where the mouse pointer is move the sprite to that location. As I move the mouse pointer It'll keep checking where the mouse pointer is and keep moving towards it. So let's see what this does. I'm going to hit the green flag. And notice now the drawing sprite tracks my, my mouse. It doesn't draw anything yet, so let's add an event to allow us to put the pen down and pen up and leave a little trail behind us as we draw. In the events area, we've already used the green flag clicked, but there's other ones that look like that. These are header blocks. You attach code down underneath it. And here's a nice one that says when spacebar is pressed. Well, spacebar we might use for something else, but for now, I'm going to click on the little triangle next to space, and it brings up all the characters on the keyboard. I'm going to pick down arrow. And that's going to mean put the pen down. So that's help, that helps me remember uh, what it does. Attached to the down arrow key pressed, I'm going to go to pen and say pen down. Now I want to do the same kind of thing so I can lift the pen. I don't always want to be drawing behind myself. So I'm going to go back to events, when space key is pressed, and click the up arrow. And when this happens, Hopefully you can imagine you want to make the pen go up. So let's run this and see what it does. It's, it's actually running right now because it's still following me. I'm going to hit the stop sign, and that stops the program from running. And I'm going to hit the green flag again. Now I'm going to hit the down arrow key. 
And when that happens, notice I start to leave a line behind myself. So that's kind of fun. Then I can hit the up arrow, and it stops. Down arrow again, draw, up arrow, stops. Now, notice here I've made a scribble, and I've got no good way to get rid of it. I could go click on the clear block, and it makes stuff go away. But I would like to be able to do that inside my program. So I'm going to add another event. This time, let's use the space bar for clear. That's an easy one to remember. And go back to pen and attach the clear block to that. All right, so I'm going to green flag it, hit the down arrow to draw. I've made sort of a mess. Up arrow, space bar to clear it. Now I can actually do like real things. I can kind of carefully. Draw some stuff, oops, and again, it's not the easiest one to use, but I can start to do some fun stuff. So that's pretty easy to handle events. A lot of them are these, um, let me hit the stop arrow so that thing stops following me around. It's easy to handle key presses and so on. What I think you should try to do is make this drawing program a little more complete. One thing you do is add a different key press to change the pen size bigger. So you can make a fatter, fatter line. Another thing you can do is set the pen color. Um, maybe you attach that to some number keys or something. And so when you hit one, it sets it to one color. And hit two, it sets it to another color. It's a little hard to understand this color stuff. Uh, basically, it, it goes zero, the numbers go from 0 to, I actually can't remember, 255. And they kind of go through the rainbow as, as you change them. So you have to experiment a little bit with what number means what, what color. So try adding some more events and do things like make the pen be bigger and the pen color change color and see if you can make a little more interesting drawing program.